Good morning, everybody. It is the Dark Comic Nerd, and we're doing another round of Nerd Showcase, which, come to think of it, I think we've done quite a bit of them lately, so I hope you guys aren't getting too bored with them. As always, because it's at the beginning of the video, and because um, some of these episodes are, uh, they're not really dedicated, per se, to any individuals in particular, but I'm betting they're... Uh, more favorited episodes i'm going to shout out to uh memorabilia collector who uh as always i think uh i'm betting very appropriate based on his name and uh the fact that i've heard him comment on stuff like this before um i'd like to shout out to him this morning and but i'd also like to say hi to god devil because i haven't heard from him in a while so i hope he's still watching and there's plenty of other people this morning. But I know everybody's got their favorite videos they're watching. So I'd like to really shout out to Memorabilia Collector and my friend Jeff this morning. Um, because I know they're checking these out. And Jeff checks out all the videos. Um, but the thing is, is that I know uh, some of this stuff is going to interest him um, a little bit more. He'll, he'll recognize, for example, um, this figure. He'll recognize that from the comic books. Because we're really into our comics. Um, so... Um, these particular two items didn't really fit into any category. So I'm showing them off together this morning. They're just individual items that I picked up. Um, the Rogue figure I picked up quite a few months ago. Um, they've already sold out at the local Walmart. Um, they actually put them on clearance. I was hoping to get, uh, another one from a friend of mine who bought them when they went really, really cheap. I bought mine at full price, which I'm happy because I don't think I would have got it if I didn't. And um, I was really hoping to get the female figures because, as always, people that put out the... Um, how should I put this? The people that do the selection process to figure out which figures are going to take over how many spots in the box. You get a case of something and you go in there and you'll get like two cyclops two of something else and a rogue for example um sometimes you'll get one of each you know you get a rogue a shadow cat a cyclops because basically these are all from the age of apocalypse which we're going to talk about and they did a line of these and i wanted this one because um uh this one in the comic had a very unique costume that was um, much like her original Rogue costume that she had when I was reading the comics in the 90s. Um, and you could see it on the X-Men cartoon. But they did a unique take on it. And I really liked it. I liked her in the comic books. The way they did her costume. And I'll show you. I think they did pretty good honor to it on this. The art on the box. So that's why I picked up this one. And then this over here. This pop figure. Um, is a Hello Kitty Naruto Shippuden crossover that they're doing. And I don't get into Hello Kitty stuff, but I have a friend that does, my friend Wes. So uh, because I like the Sakura character, and because, once again, only one Sakura in the whole thing, but they had more of the male characters, because these are almost like chase characters practically meaning they limit how many are in a case because they figure everybody's going to want the male characters more and it's like yes if you're probably playing with them if you're a kid and you're taking them out to play with them then yes but if you're a collector then frankly odds are pretty good that you're about 50 50 but as a collector, I also know that this character, there was not as many of the rogue character as there was the Magneto and the Cyclops and a lot of ones that were still left over because nobody wanted them when it was time to get rid of them. So, but we're going to start, guys, with the rogue figure. Um, and then we'll get back to the uh, Mike, <laughs> the Hello Kitty stuff. Sorry, guys. Speaking of kitties, my kitty's right here and I did that, and her. I moved that rogue figure, and boy, her ears perked right up like I did something crazy, and it's like, okay. Um, now, give me a second, guys. Yeah, I can't zoom out any more than that. I thought I'd try, but um, 
I'll uh, see what I can do, guys, at the at the uh, distance I'm at, because I can't move the camera back really much more than this. So, but that's okay, because I want you guys to be able to see the figure. So the thing is, guys, if we'll check it out real quick. Um, so this is part of the Marvel Legends series. This is the Age of Apocalypse, which is a great storyline. Basically, the concept was is, um, and I know this might not make sense to a lot of you comic collectors, so I'm going to try to drive right through it. Um, the Professor X, which I'm sure a lot of you know from the movies, if nothing else, um, he had a son named David, who ended up being a, um, uh, I, I, I say villain kind of loosely, because he wasn't really the conventional villain, but he was a villain named Legion, who had multiple mutant powers. Now, they made a, a FX TV show based on him, uh, so you might have heard of that. Well, so Legion had these powers. So Legion found a way to use his powers to go back in time and try to, if I remember correctly, kill Magneto, who he thought was his father's greatest enemy. And I don't know exactly why, because I forget, because the storyline was a long time ago in the 90s, if I remember correctly. And then accidentally killed his father, the professor, instead which then branched off and started a new timeline where Apocalypse came to be, and um, Rogue and Magneto were married and had a kid together, and um, they uh, um, led the Rebellion, which was the other X-Men, most of the other X-Men, and I could get into details of where all the other X-Men ended up, but if you want to know that, you should really look up the Age of Apocalypse. Now, they've done a couple of different variations of it, but this is the one from back in the 90s. I, as, it, as iterations of it have come back here and there, I picked them up, but I haven't fully read them. Um, and I don't think they really will ever do the original justice. Um, but that's where the rogue character here came from. As she was married to Magneto at the time, and um, she led the X-Men. Basically, Magneto and Rogue led the X-Men together. So, um, and there was like two branches of the X-Men because they were always on this kick of having two different X-Men. But there was a multitude of titles that came out for the Age of Apocalypse. I can tell you that right now. Um, so, real quick, going over with the figure and titles, guys. Um, they give you these hands. They're interchangeable with their her open hands. And then, basically, everything else here is the fist and the one of the arms for the big Colossus figure, which is this huge Colossus figure you can build in the back. Now, my camera is, is being anally stupid and trying to focus on stuff in the back. So we're going to try to back it up so you guys can see it a little better. There we go. We took the Hello Kitty out of the way, and, and we changed it a little bit. Now I'm going to try to get it in so you guys can see what the Cyclops figure, excuse me, not that, Colossus figure looks like. But you can also look at all the other figures they had. Which Magneto, Rogue, Cyclops, Sabretooth, Shadowcat, Iceman, and then um, Legion. Which, um, I don't think I... No, I did see some of the Legions. They they sold okay, from what I saw. Um, so there's a small text description about the, about the Rogue character. Um, it's all written in about a hundred different languages. So the one that probably, for most of you guys that are watching, that probably pertinent is that up there. Now, it looks like the art they had, I don't think is, I think it might be from one of the newer ones because they did another Age of Apocalypse. Because they treat the Age of Apocalypse like it's an alternate timeline now that exists in a different universe, and, but it's always still there, even though they're supposed to have eliminated it. It's kind of the way they treat Flashpoint in the DC universe where it's always still there, um, and so that way they can always go back and try to make money off it. But just so you guys can see, that's what they, the inside of the box looks like. Like I said, in this timeline, Apocalypse takes over and he's the big bad villain. And Legion took out his father, so he never became, he never came to be. And I can't remember how they actually, in the original one, I can't believe, I can't remember how they actually stabilized everything. I actually forget how they brought the timeline back but you know they treat it like it's an alternate universe now so that they can go back and make money off it anytime they want so so yeah nothing much i can really show you guys with the figure i'm just gonna check at the bottom it's just a whole bunch of copyright crap sorry about the insane reflection guys i'm i'm actually doing this nice and um early on in the day it's uh slightly past 11 i'm about to go put some uh steaks in for my lunch 
Um, and the thing is, I'm probably going to get up and do that right now, even though it's in the middle of my video. Um, because I got to get, well, actually the next one shouldn't take too long. So we, I should have plenty of time to still cook it up. But yeah, um, I, I had to pick this up. Rogue was one of my favorite characters. I love the way they drew her. I don't remember who drew the original characters, but the art was, um, was terrific. I want to say it was Mark Badley, Bagley, but I don't, I don't know if it was, but the original artwork was done phenomenally well and um i love the way the character looked and the x-men because there was multiple x-men books there was like one that ba was based solely on like shadow cat and uh wolverine and i think saber no i think saber tooth showed up more in the in the rogue one and then there was one based on rogue and x-men and there was another branch of the x-men that had like uh i think storm as more of their leader doing stuff and they had um ones based on um uh, you know basically at the time when they were doing this they had x factor they had x-men they had a different x-men um and then they had a Wolverine book going. So they took all their their Marvel books. It was one of the few times that actually they actually took all their X-Men books and ran them concurrently with the same story going. Oh my gosh, what a novel concept. Where they actually said, oh, we won't have one story going in one person's book that doesn't make sense in the other X-Men books. The X-Men books were actually run so that the same story was going in all the X-Men books. So Wolverine would have his own book going with Jean Grey, come to think of it. And Shadowcat was actually, I now remember, was leading the other part. She was leading the Generation X, the Gen X mutants that's what that's actually what the book was called at the time was generation x she was leading the gen x mutants if i recall correctly with um um colossus she was basically leading them and so on and so forth now if they put out a gene gray figure i would love to get that one too they made the gene gray figure look absolutely gorgeous um but i don't think they're ever going to do that one so I take what I can get, and I really would like to get my hands on a shadow cap, but I I don't know. My buddy's still got one. Maybe he hasn't sold them online, but I doubt it highly. So, but yeah, um, that's this figure, guys. And then we're going to take a quick look at a new Funko Pop. And this one's going to be a little better to get in the old camera shot. And the thing is, is that um, Hello Kitty, this is Hello Kitty and Friends right here, guys is nothing I watch. I know about it, but I don't know anything in detail. And I know it's a very popular thing um, in Japan. I know it's very popular here in America still to certain groups. But the reason I picked it up is because I picked up my Wes. Uh, mm, excuse me. I picked up my friend Wes. Sorry about that. I'm thinking of too many things at once. I picked up my friend Wes a figure because i'm trying to do this without telling him what he's getting for christmas i picked him up a hello kitty naruto shippuden crossover figure and i decided that since there was only one of these and i like the sakura character from naruto shippuden that i would get this care that i would get this figure even though i don't know a thing about this my melody so basically what it is, is it's more like, and I've seen them doing stuff with this, this Naruto Shippuden Hello Kitty crossover. I've seen it in other medias. So this is not the first time I've seen it. This is just the first time I've seen it as a Funko Pop. So real quick, guys, we'll show from the side, not much detail. Um, if I can tell correctly, she's got her hands here. Her hands are behind her back. So she's supposed to look more cutesy that way. Um, get the little soccer headband. And the uh, she's got a scarf. I don't think that you ever see Sakura with that. So that just adds to the little cutiness of the Hello Kitty stuff. So this My Melody, I'm guessing, is something from Hello Kitty and Friends. And they just dressed her up in a Sakura fashion. And they did the same with a lot of other figures, which you guys will see in the back here. Um, this is what the other ones were. This being, um, well, I know that's Sasuke. That's Naruto. That's Kakashi um and then oh gosh i can't i can my friend even bought one of these and it's based on atachi is the name which is sasuke's brother 
So those are the other characters. I know they probably don't mean anything to anybody. I see the Naruto one was up, done up in the Hello Kitty fashion. I don't know any of the other characters. The Choco Cat, uh, the 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 other ones. I I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the other ones. No, 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 no way. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, other figures that were in the box, in the case. Um, I had even the Naruto one. I had no interest in. Um, I have a couple of different Sakura ones. I like the way they did the Sakura character as far as the color scheme. Um, uh, and she's, the Sakura character is almost pink. We've done Funko Pops to Sakura, I think. And maybe we'll do a thing sometime and we'll bring this one back and then do a whole thing showing about the Sakura Funko Pops I have. And I've got some other Sakura. Um, usually I do buy her in, um, combination with Naruto. A lot of times because... That's the characters I like from the series. Um, they're part of the original Team 7. That's Naruto and his team in the series. And I don't really like um, the other additional characters, uh, except Sasuke, but he really wasn't in Shippuden as part of Team 7. He was kind of the bad guy or a bad guy. Um, they brought in another guy who you never see any figures of. I forget his name, actually. I just know he his jutsu had to do with paint. Um, and the thing is, is that um, the main characters that, um, I'm interested in all were from Team 7, from the original Naruto series and into the sequel Naruto series, Naruto Shippuden. And so the thing is, is that these are the two main characters. They tend to have a lot out there. So I pick up, um, some Naruto. I have plenty of Naruto and, um, Sakura. But yeah, they did a good job with the Sakura character. And they don't tend to actually showcase a lot of um, the other characters. It tends to be pretty much the, the main characters, Naruto, Sasuke, and, um, Sakura. Uh, and as you can see in this case, they put in some additional ones with Kakashi and stuff. And occasionally you'll see some nice, nice Kakashi figures at work, um, along with some, um, Sasuke figures that do not look like this. Um, but yeah, that's tends to be, we all have a couple favorite characters. I like the way they did the Sakura character. I like the way they made the character in the uh, anime. So the thing is, is that uh, I will pick up from time to time, um, especially the Funko Pops, some of the Sakura Funko Pops. They don't have a lot. Well, if they did have a lot of them, I haven't picked up a lot of them, but they've had little tiny, tiny figures, like little model type figures before. And I've got a couple of those. Um, they actually connect together. Sometime we might do a showcase on those. Um, but yeah, I really don't usually have anything really big to say about Hello Kitty. Oh, look, guys. I wonder if, um, I wonder if that's, okay, sorry about that, guys. I wonder if there's a variation of her out there. Look at that, guys. On the side, she's got her hands out in front. I wonder if there's a variation of that somewhere. Uh, they will do that from time to time. They will make variations of her. Well, what do you know, guys? Even in the picture, if you look, her hands are in the front. They're not in the back. I wonder if I picked up a variant. I wonder if I somehow got a variant of her where her hands are behind her back instead. Because even the picture on the front, I just noticed, has her with her hands in the front. Huh. I I don't know. But that does happen. In the world of Funko Pops, little things like that happen. So I'll have to look it up later. But sometimes they're worth more. Little things like that can make things worth more. You'd be surprised. But that's it for me today, guys. That's just a quick little nerd showcase. Um, a little less than 20 minutes. Um, just wanted to um, showcase some of the more oddball figures that I have. Um, and uh, make sure to get those out so they can go in the collection room. Um, I would love to actually put a um, moment now on my God Spin moment, guys. But um, I just did a Ninja Turtle video last night. I'm hoping you guys checked out. And um, I, I've been asleep ever since I did that Ninja Turtle video. So I have nothing that I can really say. The only thing I can say for my Godspin, guys, is that I'm very happy to wake up to heat my house. I am very blessed this morning to wake up to heat my house. I put the heat to 65 last night after getting it to 70. Um, it took a while before it came on. I just hope that God blesses me with keeping my oil okay um i hope any of you that drive i hope god blesses you because gas is probably worse where you are than it is where i am and it's pretty bad where i am um i saw it last night it's why i'm not looking forward to if i use up a lot of heating oil because i don't i think it's going to be very very expensive i think we're looking at almost 500 bucks guys 
are very close to it if I have to heat if I have to put more oil in. Um, so I am very blessed that there's warmer days ahead and I think spring is coming and I think God is going to bless us up here in the great state of Maine with a warmer spring is what they're predicting, which would be very nice for all of us because we tend to go into springtime where there's still cold nights and we all have to keep our heat on. I think a lot of us are going to be making the hard decision. So if you're a praying person, pray for me and others that, um, do we turn our heat off early and maybe use us use electric heat at night? Um, can we afford to turn our overall heat off and not freeze the pipes? You know, a lot of decisions because thanks to our current, uh, you know, government administration, our national government administration, I'm not going to go into politics on this guys. I try to keep them off unless it's on its own little video. Um, they're making it extremely tough. And what's going on in Europe is making it extremely tough. And you would think that they would be looking out for our best interest. But if they were, gas prices would not be so high. Um, it's almost like there's a plan to let gas prices get high so everybody is forced to go green energy. And that's another whole thing you can look up. Um, all I can say is, is that I do not believe the current administration is looking out for the people's best interest. Um, I think they're looking out for their own best interest and it's going to be a long hellish road um, that leads to a lot of tears and um, uh, frustration. And so I do hope that if you're praying, you'll continue to pray for me. And uh, if you want prayer for yourself, feel free to leave something in the comment section. I will definitely pray for you. Um, and the thing is, I hope we all make it through this um, because it going to be a rough ride, but I feel very blessed that I have enough money in my pocket to currently take care of my needs. And I'm very blessed in that um, I have heat and I have a lot of the things and I'm still able to pick up this stuff, guys. I'm still able to pick up these things, um, you know, even though money is tight. I picked up a lot of these before money got tight, but um, money isn't super tight. I'm very blessed in that, in that way too, guys, but it's... Um, it's going to be a rough road. And so, you know, that's my, uh, I want to still say how blessed I am, even though it's going to be a rough road. And that is my God spin moment this morning, guys. So I hope that you guys are all having a great Saturday. It is the weekend. Enjoy your weekend to the fullest, guys. I know I'm going to try to, even though I have to work and it is going to snow. It's going to actually be a mixed precipitation of rain and snow and ice tonight. So hopefully it all goes away by tomorrow when I go to work, because if not, it's going to suck. Because I can't afford to call up because of the whole heating incident from two Fridays ago. So, but alrighty, guys, you have a great weekend, and I will see you on the next video. Peace, everybody.